In earlier tutorials, I've pointed out that we use our left click to action things and to move around on our own computer. And it's no different when we're accessing the World Wide Web and we want to navigate through the World Wide Web. Essential to the workings of the World Wide Web are hyperlinks, or shortened just links. And these are bits of text or a menu that either takes the user to another part of the web page or to a totally different web page or website. And sometimes those new pages or websites will be opened and displayed in a new window. To demonstrate, I've done a search for Buckingham Palace. And if we move our mouse or cursor over the top of the hyperlink for Buckingham Palace, you notice that the mouse has turned into a hand with a pointer. This denotes that that is a hyperlink taking us to Buckingham Palace. If I left click on that, we're taken to the Buckingham Palace page of the official website of the British monarchy. Now there's plenty of information on this website. You can see to our left there is a whole list of hyperlinks or a menu which if we clicked on would be taken to different royal residence. In the middle of the text is what's known the royal collection and this is visitor information. So let's take a look at that. This hyperlink has opened a completely new window and if we maximize this we've got all sorts of visitor information for the Royal Collection. And the more we move our mouse over we can just keep going to different places and learn more about Buckingham Palace and other Royal Palaces. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the page we can find out about changing the guard. And again, this opens up in a completely new window because it's a new website actually run by the army. So by moving and clicking on hyperlinks you can go from page to page or site to site and that is how the internet and the World Wide Web is linked. It's like turning a page in a book or picking up another book from the library. That's hyperlinks. Thank you.